everybody, welcome to Tights Online. I'm Kylie and this morning I have Lydia and Ruben with me and we are about to look at things and whether they sink or float. Now, if something floats, it'll sit on top of the water and if it sinks, it'll go all the way down to the bottom. Now, the first thing that we have is an apple, Ruben and Lydia. Do you think this is going to sink or float? What do you think, Lydia? I think it's going to sink because it's very heavy. Because it's heavy, you think it's going to sink? Ruben, would you like to put this in the water for me? Yeah. Mm, let's have a look and see what happens. Can you do it gently for me? Here you go. Put the, put the apple in. Gently. I definitely thought that one was going to sink, but it floated, how amazing. Okay, let's have a look at our next thing. We have some shells here. Yes, shells! Shells! We yeah, would find these at the shell. beach usually. We're going to put these into the water. What do you think is going to happen? I the water. You think it's going to sink? Okay, let's have a look. My one floated. We have some rocks here. Yeah, rocks. Have some um, rocks. I'm thinking that these are going to sink because they're pretty heavy. Do you want to put one in, Ruben? Yes. Yeah. Okay, Lydia. You're going to put your pebble in. That one Definitely sunk straight to the bottom. <laughs> okay, we are going to make a boat. That, this yeah, morning, no. to make a boat, you might like to try this at home. You can find a foil tray or maybe a plastic container from your cupboard or even something that's from your recycling bin. And to make our boat, we are going to, first of all, get a little bit of Play-Doh, roll it in a ball. You can do it too, Lydia. Okay, Ruben, yep, you can put the apple in the water and then we're going to make a boat. It's swimming. It's swimming. Okay, let's take that out. We're going to make a boat. Okay, can you stick that in the middle? Okay. Stick it in the middle. And then we're going to put a, can you stick that in, Ruben? Uh, I suppose stick. Stick in that one. And one there. And you can do one. And now, we're going to make a sail for our boat, so we're going to cut a square in half to make some triangles. They're a little bit big, so I'm going to just put them in half again. And oh, the paper's getting a bit wet. Look at my fingers, they're turning pink. Okay, we're going to put a little bit of glue here, Ruben. Like and then... if our boats float. I hope Ooh. they do. Can you gently put the boat on the water? Can you put it on the water? Ooh. Is it gonna... We've got one, two, three boats that float and if you put people in them, will they still float? <gasps> yes. <gasps> do you want to Good boy, they still float. Now. Let's see if my one. Mm, yep. Okay. Now, I wonder what would happen. I'm going to just borrow this one here. I'm going to just take this apart. What do you think happens to a boat if it fills up with water? What do you think is going to happen? Right to the bottom. Do you think it's going to sink? Oh no! Oh no! Look, Ruben! What's happening to our boat? Oh, it has sunk! Okay. Now, this reminds me of a Bible story that we are going to be looking at this morning. It has something to do with water and something to do with boats. We hope you enjoy it. 
stories of the Bible. Jesus calms the storm. This is Jesus. Hey -o. Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey guys. And even raised people from the dead. One day, after preaching to a crowd of people, Jesus said to his disciples, Let's cross to the other side of the lake. You got it. So they got into a boat and started out. Other boats followed him too. <sighs> and as they sailed across, Jesus fell asleep. Uh -oh. But soon a fierce storm came down on the lake. The boat was filling with water and they were in real danger. The disciples went and woke Jesus up, shouting, Hey, Jesus, wake up! Save us! We are going to drown! Don't you care if we drown? Jesus responded, Why are you afraid? You have so little faith. Then he got up and rebuked the wind and waves, saying, Silence, be still. Suddenly the wind stopped and there was a great calm. Then he asked them, Where is your faith? The disciples were terrified and amazed. Who is this man? They asked each other. When he gives a command, even the wind and waves obey him. What did you think of that, everybody? It was pretty amazing, wasn't it, Lydia? Yeah. Yes, Jesus is pretty cool and powerful. He can do amazing things like calm storms because he has God's power in him, because he is God. Now, it's time for a craft. What do you think we should make today? Do you want to tell everybody? Boat? Yeah, we're kind of going to make a boat on some water. So. Let's get started. Today you will need some white paper, some yellow paper, markers, some icy pole sticks, scissors. We have paint sticks or you might have blue paint at home that you could use to do your C. It's up to you. And lastly, a glue stick. Okay. And cobbles. We don't forget those. <laughs> so the first thing we are going to do is make our C. So, I'm going to get a marker and we're going to make waves on one side, they're going to be really big waves and we're going to make a little calm waves and then I am I going to, marker? yep, then I'm going to colour this in now. At home, if you don't have paint, you don't have to use paint, you could use your textures or crayons or colored pencils. So let's color these in. I'm going to use paint stick. And now I'm going to leave mine to dry. I have Big waves and little waves. The next thing we're going to do is cut out our waves. We might like to get mom or dad or somebody that's at home to help you. Okay. The next thing we need to do is glue our C onto this another piece of paper. So we need another piece of paper. Now, when you glue it, you're only going to be gluing down the sides. So just here and just here. Okay, now we are going to use our scrap piece of paper and we are going to make a boat. Okay, I'll show you how to make a boat. Okay. 
Now, we're gonna get nice plastic, roughly. Okay. Okay, like that. Add some detail to my boat. Okay. My wooden boat. There you go. And then we need to draw some people in the boat. Jesus was in the boat with his disciples. So we draw Jesus. boat and your people, I'm going to cut them out. And then we are going to stick our boat onto our bicycle stick. So put a little bit of glue. A boat on an bicycle stick. We're going to fold it in half. Now remember, they were in a stormy sea and then they're in a calm sea. So on this side, I'm going to do some stormy clouds using cotton wool. Cotton wool. I'm gonna stick that down. And it was raining probably, so I'm gonna do raindrops. In a storm, there was probably lightning. And then on this side, it was calm. The sun had probably come out. So I'm going to do a circle. in a sky that will come out now that it's calm. And then I can put my boat in here behind the waves. How cool is this? Really stormy and rocky. And then Jesus calms the storm and they can just sail nicely. And that is our craft for today. We hope you have fun doing it at home. Now we're going to read a story that we have on our bookshelf at home. We hope that you enjoy it. It's called The, the Storm, Storm That Stopped. A true story about who Jesus really, really is. One day, long ago, Jesus was teaching people by the sea. Soon, some more people arrived, then others, then more and more until there were people everywhere. everywhere. The crowds were just too big. No one could see Jesus and no one could hear Jesus. So Jesus asked his friends and disciples to push their boat out into the water. He sat in the boat and the huge crowd spread out along the beach. Now they could all see and hear Jesus as he told them all about God. When he finished teaching the people, Jesus said to his friends, Let's go over to the other side of the sea. Jesus had finished teaching the crowd and now he had something to teach his friends, but they didn't know it yet. So they all jumped in the boat with him and set sail across, across the sea. Jesus was so tired, he'd been teaching the people all day. So he lay down in the back of the boat and fell fast asleep. It was quite even. The water gently lapped against the boat and the sun slowly set in the sky. Jesus was sleeping. The disciples were quietly talking. Then all of a sudden, they, they were, were in, in the middle, middle of the biggest, loudest, scariest, most ginormous storm you could ever imagine. 
The wind blew hard, the waves grew huge, the water poured into the boat, but Jesus was asleep. The wind blew harder, the waves grew huger, the water filled the boat, but Jesus was still asleep. Jesus! Wake up, wake up, we're drowning, don't you care? What a silly thing to say to Jesus, of course he cared. He loved his friends so much that one day he was going to die for them. Jesus stood up in the boat. The wind was still blowing. The waves were bigger than ever. The water was pouring into the boat quicker than the disciples could tip it out again. The boat was sinking. Just like when we were doing our floating and sinking experiment. Mm, pour the water into, into the boat. boat. It started sinking. But then Jesus did something amazing. He didn't help his friends pour the water out of the boat. He didn't help them try to row back to land. Jesus simply spoke. But he didn't speak to, to the disciples. He spoke to the storm, to the wind, and to the waves. And look, Jesus is about to speak to them. Quiet! Be still! Just three little words and the storm stopped. Stop. Right away at that very moment, the sea was quiet, still and calm. Then Jesus looked at his friends. Why are you so, so afraid? afraid? Do you still not trust me? But they were terrified and they asked each other, Who is, is this? this? Even and the waves and the wind, wind do what he says. says. This is what Jesus wanted to teach them. He wanted them to know who he really is. The disciples already knew a lot about God from his special book. They knew that God made everything. He made the world, he made the sun and the moon and the stars, and he made the sea and the wind as well. They knew that only God can tell the sea what to do, that only God can tell the wind when to blow or the waves when to crash. Only God can do these things. But the disciples had just seen Jesus do the same things God can do. So, so what, what is was the answer, answer to, to their the question? question? Who, Who is Jesus? Jesus, Jesus is God. God. Wow. Okay, so we want you to remember today that whenever you are afraid, Whenever things seem to be going wrong, you can always turn to Jesus and ask him for help. And he will help you in just the way you need it. Because Jesus is God. He has the same power as God, because it's God. And he wants to protect you. And he wants to take care of you because he loves you. So have a nice week and we will see you next Sunday. Bye. Bye.